And she thinks she's made of. Oh, damn it, Bubble! Get the tune out of my head. These things smell bad. <sighs> On the outside. Hello, it's Dante here, and I'd heard there were around one or two bugs in 1.4.2, but. Wow, I have flaming portal blocks here. What is this about? Uh, yeah, it looks like all of my dirt is made of flaming portal blocks. I think I might need to do a force update and reinstall. Wow, if those are real, I've been invaded by Daleks. <laughs> oh dear. It's time to start again. Oh. Yeah. See you in a minute. Hey guys, Dante here. And this is 1.4.2. Now, the first thing I noticed is Fraps makes everything so much darker in this version. Wow. But also, it's night time. And look who we've got. In the swamp, we have got a slime. Also now, I've just noticed quite how many people there are around here, but yeah. They now generate in swamps, so you no longer need to have that little, sw that little slime farm of your own. They will just spawn here, which is awesome. All of you redstone fanatics will have the pistons you want. Now we have to say the server is a little bit buggy today. Probably because of the new update, but wow. Come on. Come on. Dead. Okay. Oh, and well, there's that leveled up sound. Nice. Now, I don't know about the noises that we're getting in that. Whoa. Mr. Creeper, please go away. I don't know about the noises because um, this walking sound really sounds like you've got sandpaper stuck up your bum. And genuinely, the noise you get for going down a ladder. Oh, it sounds like it sounds like Noddy going mad. Well, these guys aren't gonna let me rest. I've got very, very, very high number of Bane of Arnithopods on here, so no reason why those guys should be able to hurt me. Just seems like the lag is doing it. Let's have a munch. Okay, I'm going to sign off here till I find something more interesting. Be back soon. Long. Hello, guys. Mr. Higgins is out. <laughs> Nobody knows you're here but me. <laughs> it's time for you to die. I'll eat you with a nice Chianti. With a fire beans. Da 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 Okay, that's two left. Oh, nobody has case on Dante except for you three. One, two, three. <laughs> hey. 
bloody reaction or what? <laughs> Dante out. Hey guys, Dante here. I've been walking around trying to find new land because um, we pretty much investigated most of the server. I know technically the land's infinite, but believe me, when it takes you about an hour walking in any direction to find anything new, believe me, you investigated most of the server. And we found this. My first jungle temple now. I'm fairly sure someone's probably got to it first because um, I'm really bad at finding these things. <laughs> I found about three or four, um, three or four sand temples, but so far not my own jungle temple. So uh, now, obviously, this is my first time going into one of these. So let's see how this works out. Now I have to say the server is a pretty darn laggy today. So. Um, <laughs> expect explosions. Wow, I've gone out with no torches into the middle of the darkness. Wow. I is a genius. It's night. And what would normally happen is we'd have about about a million creepers by now, but it's quite quiet. So, oh. Okay, now apparently there are switches. For a jungle temple. Let's go down. Okay. I'm sure that's not quite as. Can I get a dog to go down there? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, something. Something. Okay. Now something should have opened up, <laughs> granting us access to goodies. Uh, maybe it's higher up. Now, as you can tell, I've not done a jungle temple before, so I might be talking garbage. Okay, I can't see anything that's opened up. Let me know what I'm doing wrong if you um if I've not figured this out before the end of the video. Uh -huh. So I am doing it wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Now I could obviously just cheat, but you know. Let's have a look. Anything more? Oh, less. Set it back to how it was. Okay, this is getting annoying now. We'll give it one more go. So last time, the first one I opened was this one, so let's do it the other way around, say so this one, this one, sorry there's a bit of lag on these switches, and this one, ooh, double piston, <laughs> oh my goodness, Okay, okay, in a second I'm just going to go absolutely mad and kill this place. Okay, well you get the idea. Let's get the pick out. Okay, and for that I get ooh, two diamonds and some bones. Ah, you know, don't really need the rotten. F oh, don't really need the rotten flesh, but yeah, I know I've got it in my first ever jungle temple. 
<laughs> okay, it's over. Oh, oh, that stone. I need that stone. <gasps> Get rid of that. Special stone. So, for you guys in the future, uh, if you get bored of flicking switches, just um, dig through the switches. Now, here's another conundrum, because I know they're going to be tripwires here. I'm sure a genius. Like Noah, get through this in instant. Okay, so I've broken another one. A dispenser. Okay, it wasn't that dispenser. Oh. Arrows. Excellent, I'm short on arrows. Now, this is a bit where the idiot would immediately presume that it's over. <laughs> okay, I've got some more pre treasure. Ah, just gold. Gold is like the so last century. Okay, what did I get rid of for the gold? Uh, la 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 la. Okay, a couple of bits of wood. Okay, now something tells me this whole temple is going to disappear soon because this is mossy cobblestone out of the back of my head. Okay. Well, I've had fun exploring my first ever temple. In fact, let's quickly just pop outside now it's no one's daytime. So, um, let's have a look outside. It's got a nice view. Okay, so this is my first ever jungle temple. Hope you like my video. There you go. Night night, chaps. Okay, it's 1.4.2, and I have made the amazing addition to my shack of. A clock. Yes, that's it. The height of 1.4.2 technology. An actual working clock. You see, no pistons built in there. No super mega chickens. I've added a clock. Well, yeah, no. It's in this day and age. I should really update. <laughs> yeah, I've not gone mad with 1.4.2. In the shack... I've used a few more bits in the actual tower, which is where I'm taking you now. Giving you a bit of a tour of the place. Now I've had it updated. Now, the Aninya village is looking pretty awesome. Now, I have had some issues with Aninya village. Um, there was a bit of a crash with, um, with a brownish bubble, accidentally creating an infinite NPC spawner. Yeah, that kind of crashed the server now. Not really much happened with my NPCs. Uh, there was... Um, the chunk wasn't loaded, so it seems they all survived. Except for these guys. These guys passed on. But fortunately, um, Barty made uh, a couple of spawn eggs. He basically backed up... He basically um, backed up the uh, NPCs. Now, these guys are all absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with these guys, except... See if I can find one. Some of the trades are now out of touch. I can see I get new trades. I can't touch the old awesome trades. So, damn it! <laughs> For some reason, some of my favourite trades are gone. One second, let's see if I can find one of the dudes. Look at that. All the priests huddling in a corner like they're planning something. What are you guys planning? Eight gold for an emerald, that's not too bad. Get rid of all the butter in my inventory. Now this is one I was really sad to see go. See, sword and emerald for oh back one, that's pretty uh, pretty blah, but glows two glowstone per emerald. That is amazing. And I lost it. Darn it, bubble. You owe me, lad. Right. <laughs> Let's head right back towards Hey, 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 where's my tower? Here we go, it's filling itself in now. See, I've had some glowstone to the outside, so it's not quite as dark around it. I 
I really need to work on getting a new um, PC with the draw distance. Look at that. There you go. See, it's a technological marvel rising out of the jungle. Hey, here we are at Fort McFlurry. And what a beautiful sight it is from down below. Here we have the entrance, the viewing platform, the home dome. I think the rotating light is working again now. I had to go repairing that before. So that should be rotating nicely. And we have the outer pods. Oh, Luigi's gone. Luigi's back. Don't have a clue what's going on. Okay, let's head up now. I've got rid of the platform. Now the only way up is from the water chute. Now, another one thing in 1.4.2 that drives me crazy are the new noises. Can you hear that? It sounds like the Tin Man having a fit. Wow. That is awful. Okay, nothing changed here. Just a bit of a tour, you know, letting you know what's around. So that's the viewing platform for the forest to see what's going on. Heading further. Oh, there's something new. Glowstone. <laughs> that's not what's um that's not what's amazing by the way. Here we go. We're heading into my storage area. So it automatically changes look changes looks like it's like you go from the medieval zone to the Aztec zone. Here's storage. Now as you can see Oh darn it <laughs> Didn't plan to do that dude. Sorry about that. Uh, what can I get rid of? Get rid of this. Oh. <laughs> Didn't quite plan to do that. That's one. That's the only problem with using signs with nothing in them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> See, this is like a mini storage area now. It's um, a bit of a mini storage. See, you can um, walk from one side to the other because of the ladder. It's just as if there's a step there. And if you turn around oh, and press up, you can go all the way up. Now, this is what it's going to look like eventually with all the blocks in the inside. So, obviously, lava. That's where I store my lava. Uh, chest, where I store my chests. Netherrack. Now, obviously, that's not exactly what I'm going to be keeping in here. So, this is just an example of how it works. But, yeah. And for everyone I didn't know with item frames, obviously most of you all know, oh, you can rotate the stuff inside. Ah, it's going to spill on the floor. I mean, um, yeah. Oh. Now, I wonder if you had like a, what if you could use that as a bud when you rotate it? Like three times or four times, you could have something activated using a bud switch. Just something you guys to think of, you know? I don't know how they work. Maybe you guys know. Or what if the door only opened when Creeper Face was upside down? What about that, huh? 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 I'll leave it to Noah to think about. Here we go. Now this, I must admit, hasn't changed much. It's been lit up a bit better, but pretty much the same. Oh. Now, one of the things I absolutely hate about 1.4.2... Wait for it, it's going to come back. Listen to that noise. That is awful. <laughs> some of the noises I quite like. Some of the noises like um, like I'm walking through sand or eating or... The noises, uh, the noises, um, noises Enderman make. Yeah, I can still hear the minecart here. It's a minecart lighting system. The minecarts were quiet before. Okay, here's another clock. Now, one second, let me empty some stuff. Uh, don't need this many pearls. Here's another thing you can do in 1.4.2. You can name it. Muffin's clock. Now, for most of you who don't know, Muffin is one of the, um, the more fighty members of the server now. One particular night, he decided he was going to kill just about everyone on the server. He went around slaying them, so um, I caught up with him, put a bit of a sword in his backside, and um, the I all of it left all of his stuff in a cupboard. Accidentally made off with a clock. That is literally the clock. That is Muffin's clock. 
Muffin's clock. Now, <laughs> I am not going to tell you guys what a hassle it was to get these guys up here. That was hard work. And here we have, what do you think of this, guys? I have a guest. Guest of honour. Brownish. Oh, he's not in. Yep. Now, some of you guys might not know, Brownish Bubble is one of my mates on the server, but due to an accident with an infinite NPC spawner, which um, somehow got left on for um, about a thousand NPCs, he kind of corrupted a couple. Of, he kind of corrupted a couple of um, a couple of chunks on the server, which we can no longer use. Oh, that minecart's going to get to me. Right. Yeah, we can no longer use a couple of chunks. So the only way we we could really um, save him, if, rather than being um, permanently stuck in um, damaged chunks, was to wipe his uh, NP wipe his um, personal data. So um, he can't go back home. He can't access his um, ender chest because um, all his personal, all the ender stuff in his ender chest within his personal file. So he's moved in. He's now a oh, Gigi. Okay, now one final thing while we're here, just on a quick update, is if I F3. Now I decided I thought F0. You know, north being the first thing you should have. F0. Should be north. Obviously, obviously, if you lock up in a corner, dinner bone disagrees. F zero is south. Who the heck says? Who the heck says south, east, west, and north? It's northeast, southwest. So yeah, all my signs are pointing the opposite direction at the moment. Here's west and east. Hey cat. Here's south and north. Lovely. Okay, not much else up here. I've got a few things I'm working on. Got my NPCs, got my pagoda. Now, one of the plans I have for my pagoda, flower pots. This is just stuff for the 1.4.2 goodness, isn't it? Oh, a mildly used anvil. I could even go inside that. Uh, I've got 42 um, levels. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Oh, efficiency shovel. Pick. There you go. Let's rename this. What should we rename this? Oh, no, even better. Oh, slappy. Do you think that's a good use of my 33 levels? There we go. Oh, slappy is in business. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it here. I'll probably meet you next in a desert where I show you work. I'll show you the progress I made on my catwalk. Ta-ta. Hey, guys. It's Dante here. Just walking along. See if I can find my secret base. You know. Hidden somewhere. Going to be a button. You know. Having a look around. Seeing if the um, secret catwalk is findable. Do, do, oh. Is that a button? There we go. Yep, as you can see, not perfectly hidden, but you know, it's still got some work to do on that. This is indeed the entrance to my hidden catwalk. If we have a look around, there's no obvious signs. It's the uh, one by two nature of the doorway is maybe a bit um, obvious, but that's something I can work on. For now, the mechanics is more what I was concerned about. So, if you press the button, you shall see how it works. Okay, now, as sand has gravity, unlike um, some other blocks, and, um, well, this is a desert, obviously what I had to do was have some sand supported there. The door pulls away and the sand falls down. And it works the other way around. Now, in fact, I think a trick of how this looks, uh, the trick of the recording is, press the button, that goes up, those come across, and the magic block just pops up top. So watch this again. Those pull away, a block falls down, but do it this way. Dude comes up, those close across, and a magic block. Magic, magic block. Magic, magic block. <laughs> yeah. 
Now, it's not completely finished yet because uh, I built it slightly close, slightly too close to the walkway. And um, yeah, I can't actually close this in without disrupting the circuits because um, if you have a look, my T flip flop there is a bit too close. But if you have a look, so we'll close it again. Magic. We um, press the button. Go in, walk through. Plate closes it. Yep, I can replace that with a wooden press pressure plate, but just for the display at the moment now. As you can see, not too much change inside. Got some snazzy glowstone lighting the place up. Uh, my never fail minecart system is keeping it running in here now. The main problem I have is 1.4.2, and you've probably already heard this before. Our minecarts are so loud. Listen to that. It's underneath all of this sandstone. All of this sandstone. It's got the wall next to it. It's got the lights. And yet it's the loudest thing. Listen. Listen. It's almost as loud as me placing the sand. I could explode some TNT and you could still hear minecarts going off. Jeez. Okay. Well, there's nothing else really to show you in here. It's not really changed, so I will end it here. But uh, can we end it by going in bed? Going in bed? Going in bed? Going in bed? I'll end it here, dudes. See you next time. Dante out. Wow. Hello. Um. Have some thieves. Do you like thieves, Mr. Bat? Do you want some thieves? Come here, I'll give you seeds. Mr. Bat? Really? Hey, 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 burn. <laughs> The guy, by the way, that um, recorded, uh, put the message on my video, he would actually uh, murder me if I used a pick to um, to um, dig dirt. Here's a spade and some netherrack for you. Think about that. Here's a <laughs> spade and some yeah, netherrack. That guy. Here we have our enchanting table. Oh, no books. No books anywhere near. Kazam. And uh, nobody's allowed to know my name. It's like Doctor Who. If you know my name, you have to marry me. Well, I know your name, so I might as well marry you. Hey, let's both get in that bed uh, right there, now. There we go.